Hi everyone, today we are going to be looking at a recap of doubling and halving strategies. There are lots of doubling and halving strategies. The one we are going to look at today is the one involving partitioning. This is just one method that you can use to double and half numbers um, and that's the one that we're going to be looking at today. So we're learning about doubling and halving. We will be looking at how to partition a two digit number and how to partition a three digit number. So thinking about those skills. We're also going to be using our knowledge of doubling and halving numbers to 20 and how we can take that knowledge and extend it into larger numbers. And we will be using additional strategies as we go through as well. So let's have a look at how to double a two digit number first of all using this partition strategy. So imagine we have 46 as the first example. The first thing that we would do is partition this number. What is that 4 and what is that 6? So hopefully we knew that the 4 was a 40 and the 6 was just a 6 because it's in the units column. We would then double each part of that partition. So if we know double 4, we know double 40. So double 4 is 8, so double 40 is 80. So we can pop that in. Then we can double 6 and we should know that double 6 is 12, so we can write that in. Then what we need to do is bring the 80 and the 12 back together so we can use any addition strategy for this. We could do a wee side chimney sum or we can do it mentally. So, eight. so we need to bring 80 and 12 together and that will give us 92. Let's have a look at another example. Imagining this time we had 93 as our two digit number. So same way we partition the, the 9 and the 3. So we get 90 and 3. We can then double each parts of those numbers. So if we know double 9, we can work out double 90. So double 9 is 18, so double 90 is 180. Doubling 3, we should know, is 6, so we can pop that in. Then we need to bring together 180 and 6 and get 186 for that double there. Let's move on and have a look at how to double a three digit number. So we'll start off the same way and partition this number. So we've got 122, so we can break it down into 120 and 2. We can then double each section. So double 100 is 200, double 20 is 40, and double 2 is 4. Bring all those sections back together and we get 244 for that answer. Let's try another example. We could have 596. So if we partition that, we get 590 and 6. We then double each section. So double 500 is 1000, double 90 is 180, and double 6 is 12. We need to bring all those sections back together and we get 1192. Take your time adding those up. If you need to do a side sum, chimney sum, something at the side, that's absolutely fine. The last method we're going to look at today, the last example, is how to double with decimals. So imagine we had 12.7. We can partition each of those sections just as we would have done for the two digit and the three digit number. So when we partition, we get 10, 2 and 0 0.7. Be careful with those decimals, 0 0.7 at the end. We can then double each section. So double 10 is 20, double 2 is 4, Double 0 0.7, if you know double 7 is 14, then double 0 0.7 is 1.4. Bring those sections together, 20 add 4 add 1.4 and we get 25.4. Awesome guys, that was really really fast, so please slow it down, take your time, pause the videos if you do need that extra bit of thinking time. Remember this is just one strategy for dub doubling, there are lots of other strategies out there. This is just the one we're going to look at today. Um, here's a little bit of practice for you. So just double these numbers. I've got a mild, a medium and a hot there. The mild is just sticking with the two digit numbers. Medium takes it to three digit and the hot does the decimal examples. So pause the video here, take your time, see if you can double these numbers using any strategy you want. We're thinking about partitioning strategies today so it might be useful to practice that. All right, let's see what we got for an answer. So mild, first of all. So double 16 is 32. Double 23 is 46. Double 52 is 104. Double 64 is 128. 
and double 76 is 120, 152, sorry. The medium, double 491 is 982, double 327 is 654, double 209 is 418, double 742 is 1484, double 566 and we get 1132. Onto the hot one, double 17.2 and we get 34.4, double 23.8 and we get 47.6, double 56.9 and we get 113.8, double 87.6 and it's 175.2, and then double 94.4 and we get 188.8. .8. Well done if you got those correct. Remember, just go back and have another wee practice. If you maybe got some mistakes, take your care, take care adding up and each of the different sections as that might be where the confusion's coming in. Quickly moving on to a recap of how to do halving with a two digit number. So we're on to halving now. So switch your brain around to halving, no more doubling. So halving a two digit number using the same partitioning strategy. So we're going to start again with 46 and we're going to start by just partitioning it, partitioning it into 40 and 6. We can then half each of the sections. So if you know half of 4 is 2, then you know half of 40 is 20. Half of 6 is just 3, so we pop that in. Bring the two sections together and we get 23. Another example, we might have 97. So again, just partitioning it into 90 and 7. Halving that, take your time with these halving, halves. They are a little bit trickier than the previous example. So half of 90 is 45 and half of 7 is 3.5. Take your time with those, that is a little bit trickier. It takes it to that next level. Bring those two numbers together and we get 48.5. How to half a three digit number, very straightforward, following the same rules. Let's start with 428, so we partition that into 428. Half each of those sections, so half of 400 is 200, half of 20 is 10, and half of 8 is 4. Bring those parts together and we'll get 214. Let's try a harder example, so this time we've got 931. Partition it first into 930 and 1. Half of 900 is 450, half of 30 is 15, and half of 1 is 0 0.5. Bring those sections together, take your time, and we get 465.5. Let's have a look at some practice for these. I've got medium and halt for you. The medium keeps it with even numbers so you don't really have to worry about decimals for the medium one. Hot takes, takes it to the next level where you will have to think about decimal numbers and um, trickier examples. So you can pause the video here, have a wee try at those, see how you get on. Okay guys, let's have a look at the answers for medium. So the first one's 23, then we've got 41, then we've got 82, then we've got 121 and then we've got 233 so well done if you managed to get those if not go back and have another wee practice let's get the answers for hot so for the first one 48.5 then 24.5 then 133.5 then 196.5 and then 276 for the last one Common mistakes that can come up um, during partitioning for doubling and halving. Partitioning the wrong place value, especially for getting into the decimal numbers. Take your time with those, make sure you've, you've thought about your place value. Another common mistake might be doubling instead of halving, especially if you are doing them at the same time. If your brain has been used to being doing doubling and then all of a sudden we're changing to halving, just take your time and make sure you're doing the right strategy for the question. And obviously we can still get addition errors when we're adding those sections up at the end. Be careful with your place value. If you need to do a side sum for addition, that's absolutely fine. Just take your time and make sure you're not making any errors there. Well done, guys. That was how to double in half really, really quickly 
So hopefully we've practiced our partitioning of two digit and three digit numbers. We've extended our knowledge of doubling and halving from, from numbers up to 20 to numbers beyond. And we've maybe revised those addition strategies that we needed to use to find the answers. Well done, I'll see you soon.